Imagine being at the pinnacle of success and facing public humiliation for your appearance. I had, oh, I had this. Yeah, I think we took it out of the interview, but I had so many in it. I was interviewing someone during this whole time for me for the show. Assuming you know my life, I was like, okay, and you're going to shame me for it right now. That's what happened to Kelly Clarkson endured. Despite her remarkable journey from American Idol to a Hollywood Walk of Fame star, Clarkson's weight became a relentless focus in the media. Today, get into the details of the jarring incidents she faced live on TV, her candid revelations to Ellen DeGeneres, and how she managed to turn the tide. I, I, I don't know, I always did come with that armor a bit of like, Nah, that's all right. Like, you think that you do you, I'm gonna do me, we're gonna be fine. Kelly Clarkson's weight has been a subject of public discussion since she came into prominence as a contestant in an eventual winner of the first season of American Idol. In a 2015 interview with Ellen DeGeneres, she opened up about how she was viewed in that period. Yeah, I was the biggest girl on there too. And I wasn't big, but people would call me big because I was the biggest on the Idol. And I've kind of always gotten that. After she won American Idol, and secured a deal with RCA Records, her body image became more of an issue. In an exclusive interview the singer did with Attitude magazine in 2017, she revealed that she felt pressured by executives to stay really skinny. She said, When I was really skinny and unhappy, I wanted to kill myself. I was miserable, like inside and out, for four years of my life. But no one cared because aesthetically, you make sense. She later clarified her remarks on X, saying, Just to clear something up. I wasn't even miserable because I had to be thin. I said I was miserable and as a result, I became thin. I've never contemplated suicide because of my weight. I said people had no idea I was unhappy, oddly enough because I appeared healthy. In 2007, shortly before the release of her third album, Kelly Clarkson revealed that her struggles with her body image began long before she became a celebrity. In an intimate interview with Cosmo Girl, she discussed her battle with bulimia in the seventh grade that developed after a skinnier singer got picked for a part in a musical over her. She said, I thought if I came back and I was cuter and thinner, then I'll get the role. She continued, The lesson I took from that was purely superficial, but that's what I grew up thinking for a long time. It wasn't smart and I had it straight into an eating disorder and became bulimic for the next six months. She further revealed that she could only overcome her eating disorder after a friend of hers found out about it and pleaded with her to seek help. I think I can do it and it's in my head, so I'm gonna make it happen. You have to keep those dreams. Even now, like I have dreams that I want to achieve. Criticism about the singer's appearance began to intensify around 2014 after she became a judge on The Voice. We're both competitive. Go ahead, say my name, Blake. What'd you say if I won? Queen Kelly Clarkson. Thank you in which she had noticeably gained weight. Around this time, she gave birth to her first child. It's normal for women to experience weight gain and other physical changes during pregnancy. She dealt with the haters by staying confident and promoting body positivity, asserting that a healthy lifestyle is more important than the obsession with dieting or weight loss. In many interviews she took around this time, she stated that she wanted the focus to be on her music and not her physical appearance. This did nothing to stem the brutal body shame she would soon experience. In the summer of 2015, controversial media personality Katie Hopkins went off on Kelly Clarkson unprovoked with nasty tweets. One of these tweets read, Jesus, what happened to Kelly Clarkson? Did she eat all of her backing singers? This came after her performance on The Graham Norton Show. Katie Hopkins wouldn't be the only notable media personality to comment on her weight. That same year, Fox News host Chris Wallace came on The Mike Gallagher Show as a guest where he said of the singer, Holy cow, did she blow up? She could stay off the deep dish pizza for a little while. Chris Wallace at least deemed it fit to apologize to her after getting called out instead of doubling down as Katie Hopkins did. I admire her remarkable talent and that should have been the focus of any discussion about her. Another notable incident occurred on July 4th, 2017 when a troll commented, You're fat! In response to a tweet she put out in honor of Americans military vets. Kelly Clarkson didn't let this one go, shooting back with a snarky and still f 
awesome. After gaining public attention for her drastic weight loss in 2018, Kelly Clarkson took to the Today Show to discuss the chronic health issues she'd been dealing with and how she finally overcame them. I read this book that was given to me years ago and I was just like, whatever, another book because I had an autoimmune disease yeah. and a thyroid problem. She revealed that she was diagnosed in 2006 with an autoimmune disease and thyroid disorder. According to her, the weight loss came naturally when she took the book The Plant Paradox by Dr. Stephen M. Gundry, which contains instructions on managing the condition. I know the industry loves the weight gone, but I mean, for me, it wasn't really the weight. For me, it was like, I'm not on my medicine anymore. My blood work came back and I haven't been on my medicine since, like, February. Though Clarkson never revealed exactly which thyroid condition she was suffering from, people have credibly speculated it could have been hypothyroidism. According to the Mayo Clinic, hypothyroidism is a fairly common medical condition in which a person's thyroid gland doesn't produce enough of certain hormones. The condition more commonly strikes women by upsetting the balance of chemical reactions in the body, causing health problems, including obesity, joint pain, and heart disease. According to the clinic, symptoms tend to develop gradually over many years, usually beginning with weight gain or fatigue. Kelly Clarkson would, however, come under public scrutiny for weight gain in 2022. This was shortly after an extraordinarily hard divorce from a television producer, Brandon Blackstock. I was destroyed, like on the ground, like crying. Like it's because that that's a loss. That's a it's a death. Honestly, you grieve something that you thought would be forever. According to her 2023 interview with People magazine, the stress of this period left her extremely depressed. She credited the making of her last album, Chemistry and Therapy, for getting her out of the dark mental space. About the making of her album, she said, I didn't see it other than, this is my outlet. I'm a let-go person. I don't hold grudges. So it was really delving into what happened in my life and why, and what am I going to do about it? She added, I cannot express how appreciative I feel for having that kind of healthy outlet, because the level of depression and things that come with divorce or grieving is extraordinarily hard. You feel alone, and it's just a blessing to be able to have that outlet for those emotions that are overwhelming. Because the level of depression and things that come with, you know, divorce or grieving in general, is extraordinarily hard. To add to everything that was happening, her ex-husband didn't help the situation. According to her, her ex had said he didn't think she was sexy enough to be a coach on The Voice. He allegedly claimed they were looking for a sex symbol, contrasting her with Rihanna, who he thought was a better fit. This arose amidst their divorce, when she accused Blackstock of unlawfully securing contracts that a talent agent should have handled instead. The cherry on the cake is that he also allegedly accepted commissions in return. In November 2022, in a major legal victory for her, Blackstock was ordered by a California Labor Commissioner to pay Clarkson a massive sum of $2,600,000. $641,374, stating that Brandon had overstepped his managerial role when securing four of these five business deals for her. Exactly a year later, Kelly Clarkson uploaded a photo to Instagram that would get her fans talking. In the comments, they began to speculate about how she lost so much weight quickly. The theory that she was using Ozempic, the diabetes medication that has recently been adopted as a weight loss drug to achieve this new physique, quickly gained steam. Some fans expressed skepticism about her weight loss. One wrote, her fans deserve to know the truth of her weight loss. Another fan commented, no way she lost that much weight that fast. Medication. A popular comment shared, she looks great, but it seems like she lost a lot of weight in like two weeks. Other fans were more direct in expressing their suspicions. Kelly is very upfront about not exercising. It's Ozempic. One wrote in the comments while another added, Ozempic looks good on you. Kelly Clarkson didn't take too long to refute these rumors, given an exclusive interview to People in December of 2023 to discuss the diet and exercise routines she adopted and how she lost weight. Quoting some parts from the interview, Walking in the city is quite the workout. I eat a healthy mix. I dropped weight because I've been listening to my doctor. A couple years I didn't. In 90% of the time, I'm really good at it, because a protein diet is good for me anyway. The last time she lost weight was in 2018. She credits the book The Planned Paradox by Dr. 
Stephen M. Gondry with giving her the insight she needed to develop her current health and wellness routine. Now she's giving credit to the city and some healthy mix. Kelly Clarkson's career so far has been an extraordinarily successful one, both critically and commercially. Unfortunately, throughout her career, she has also had to deal with a lot of public and private harassment as a result of her physical appearance. Thankfully, she seems to be in a good place right now, and it's safe to say we're all happy for her.